That music was kind of soothing, huh? Yeah, the lullaby was putting me to sleep. So <laughs> apparently that's all I need. Maybe that's the key. Just play that song over and over and you will fall asleep. <laughs> Thank you, Jason, because there were some good tips in there. Uh, with all that in mind, I think your weather word today, Matt, should be snooze. Good one. God, I just love the file video of all those people that just look miserable <laughs> at the office. They're all by themselves. There's blue, dark lights all around. I right. Mean, <laughs> Yeah, I wonder what office that is. Remind yeah. me to stay away. Yeah, our next segment will be how to find a new job because you got to get out of that place. Uh, but yeah, we'll fit snooze into the forecast. Uh, pretty easy pattern over the last couple of days. We've obviously brought in this fresher air mass, but things are really starting to uh, to churn here as we're getting back to that summery pattern just in time for the end of June. Temperatures right now, thermostat settings for many of you, a little warm if you ask us, mid 70s, not what we go, but we've got low to mid 70s outside, still very comfortable. Wind has shifted around out of the south. When you get a south wind, that brings that Gulf of Mexico moisture up. So we have noticed a little bit more humidity, but it's still not that bad. We measure that with dew point, dew points in the 40s to near 50. So once you hit 50, you could start to feel the air, but it's really not that bad. Still very comfortable, especially by late June standards. But uh, we look down towards the south. Dew points much, much higher. That tropical air, remember, yesterday got shoved all the way down to the Gulf Coast. This is very comfortable air, even down towards the south. But look at that return flow around a high pressure. We've got humidity already higher in areas of the Plain States. That's heading our way. We've got clouds. You saw that CSU cam shot. Some passing clouds over the next couple hours. Those should thin out. Temperature is not quite as cool tonight. We'll be in the upper 50s to near 60 degrees. Still window open kind of weather. But that's going to go away as we bring in even more humidity. Here's some of those clouds now floating across the area. We've got a batch of, again, it's about six hours or so. These were the showers on radar I thought we'd see. Looks ominous, but a lot of this really evaporating up in our dry air. Just some clouds tonight. Bigger picture, though, big area low pressure off towards the north. This is all pulling this moisture off towards the north as well. You can see the increase in dew points is that humidity around that high will start creeping in here over the next couple days. Tomorrow, still rather comfortable. You'll notice a little bit more humidity. Humidity. By Friday, though, Saturday, Sunday, into the weekend, we are really in the thick of things. It's going to get thick around here humidity wise, and that will trigger some showers and thunderstorms starting Friday, really ramping up Saturday and then on through next week. National Design Mart Hour by our forecast back into the upper 50s and 60s tonight. As I mentioned, there's those clouds floating through your daytime tomorrow starts with some sunshine. We will have some more clouds very similar to today, except for temperature is going to be a little bit warmer. We'll be in the low and mid 80s tomorrow. So not quite as uh, chilly as where we've been in terms of this fall like air. And then tomorrow night you saw that we're still in the 70s at 10 o'clock rainfall. We're going to have to watch. We cannot snooze on this pattern as we get into the weekend because it does look like we're going to be bringing in rounds of showers and thunderstorms along the frontal boundary. Again, chances of storms really ramp up Friday night, but then especially Saturday. And some of that could really put down some heavier rainfall. Something to watch here. You need home mortgage seven day forecast. Sun and clouds tomorrow. Isolated storms on Friday. Best chance if you have weekend plans out of Saturday and Sunday. I think we have a better chance for rain and storms Saturday. Sunday a little bit drier, but still storms in the forecast. And next week you can see more storms Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Temps stay in the 80s. We'll be back with more right after this.